but certainly a lot of people use marijuana um, for sleep. Um, the thing that's really tricky about that is that oftentimes they're using it because in the pre-sleep period, they're using it to calm down. They're using it to manage arousal. And um, unfortunately, something like sleep hygiene, it says to stop um, using things like marijuana. It's, it's not a great approach, and that's why sleep hygiene really doesn't work. It's not, um, so that's something that people are surprised to hear. Um, because if I ask you to stop using marijuana, your sleep is actually going to get worse at first. And so if you've come to me to, to fix your sleep and I've asked you to quit marijuana, um, which I wouldn't do actually, um, then, then your sleep is going to get a little bit worse. But instead, what I'll do is I'll give people the information about what marijuana does. And so they can make choices. And, um, and I want to create a little bit of ambivalence about using it as a sleep aid. It is not an effective sleep aid. In fact, it actually worsens your sleep. So although I can help you with this pre-sleep arousal problem, I could really help you with that. I have a lot of tools that could help you with that. But most importantly, what's it going to do to your sleep? Well, at first, it's going to displace um, stages of sleep that are deep, as well as REM sleep, which is not deep sleep. Um, REM sleep will rebound later in the night. And if you're somebody who's prone to nightmares or weird dreams, then that's going to intensify later, which is going to make your sleep less restorative. But that's going to make it pretty fitful. And so the net result of marijuana is actually poor quality sleep. But more importantly, people that start using marijuana regularly, even after one month, we see a decrease in their ability to produce delta sleep. That's that deep sleep where you get tissue restoration. So people who start to use marijuana for sleep, ironically, have to continue to use it even in the face of poor quality sleep because their ability now to produce deep sleep has, has diminished significantly. And this problem stays many months after cessation of marijuana. And so they'll continue to believe, oh, I needed the marijuana, not knowing that it actually those cannabinoid receptors have to come back online and, and start producing, um, helping uh, rather than hindering the deep sleep problem. So I'm gonna give people information and I'm gonna uh, help them come to a plan about stopping rather than just saying, stop that. Uh, it's not particularly helpful. Nobody's gonna stop. Um, and so I want people to have all the information. Then they can decide um, how, where is sleep quality and having restful sleep in terms of mind goals and where does that fit in in terms of stopping.